Okay, let's see here. Okay, now that answers that. And then the last thing left is alpha, the angle of the, word, of the ball. So alpha is going to be what? Tan inverse of, let's do it over here. y over x, uh, in other words, the y final minus y initial, really, you know, from where it ended up, from where it was thrown. That's the, tra the, the tra trajectory angle. Uh, so y final would be uh, 90.87 minus its initial height, which was 4, divided by the distance that it went, 248. Nineteen point three zero. So it kind of looks like this. So at the point where it's at its highest height, it makes a nineteen degree angle from where it was thrown, from where it was hit. So that's the 19 degrees is not the same as its initial angle. It was uh, the initial angle was 35. So 19 is less than that, right? So it needs to be the answer does need to be less than 35. It can't be more than 35. Okay. Okay. So then we can start answering part B. Will the ball be a, uh, hit the fence, be a home run? The best way to do that is to put the equation x uh, equals vxt and then put over here 380. Since we know the fence is 380 feet away, put there 380 and then put here uh, vx is going to be 130 cosine of uh, 35 t. In other words, what we're saying is, let's assume this ball makes it all the way to the fence. What is the time? How far will it, uh, how, what's this, what is the time to get there? And then we solve for the t. And then using that t, we're going to find out what is the height of the ball at that point. So tell me what that comes out. Three point five seven seconds. Then put that t into the y equation. That will be the second y equation. Y final. Y final, we don't know. Y initial is four. The initial y is 130 uh, sine of uh, 35. t is equal to 3.57 minus 16 times 3.57 squared. So put that all in and then find out where the ball is if it goes a horizontal distance of uh, 130. I mean, if it goes a horizontal distance of 380 feet. C. 
60. Oh, okay, therefore it's a home run, right? 66. Sixty-six point two eight feet. So it clears the fence by about thirty-six feet, right? Sixty-six minus uh, thirty. So it's a home run then. A happy face there for Barry Bonds. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Now, if it's a home run, the question might want to ask. Where does the ball land? So, so far we determined that it is a home run. Okay, so then it, uh, let's say it goes over the fence. So where does it land? How far away from the fence does it land? So how would we do that? So now we want to know how far away from the fence. So now we want to know, um, uh, set the y final is equal to zero, right? to find out how many seconds it takes to hit the ground. So set y final equal to 0. So in this equation, put 0 for this. That will tell you how many seconds it takes to hit the ground. 0 is equal to 4 plus 130 sine of 35 times t minus 16 t squared. You can put this into your ti calculator, put it into the solver, and this makes it uh, your life easy, quicker. Just put the coefficient of the t, of the t squared is gonna be negative 16. The coefficient of the t is 130 sine of 35, and the last coefficient is four. See what it comes up with, the answer. T is 4.71 seconds. So it takes 4.71 seconds to hit the ground. Okay, so now, so we know, from this we know it's a home run, 4.71 seconds to hit the ground. Now if I, I want to know how many feet away from the fence it lands. So then I, I have to find out where it is when it lands. So I go back to uh, this equation, and I solve for where it is. Let me erase all this here. What do you get? Five. Five. Okay. Then subtract that from 380. And that'll be 121.57 feet from fence. That's assuming there are no bleachers or whatever, you know. If it just goes over the fence and hits the ground, it'll hit the ground 120 feet above, uh, farther than the fence. The problem could also ask you, well, what is the final velocity when it hits the ground? What is the final angle of the ball when it hits the ground? Okay? So we need to be able to do all of these things. So how do we get the final velocity? 